Hi there, my name is Hannah Harris and I am an Irish fiddler and singer and every week on YouTube I try and post a new video, whether it's a live tutorial, a pre-recorded tutorial like this one, or a uh, recording from a previous concert or gig, so always trying to post weekly to keep you all updated with what's going on here. Today we're going to talk about the Sleeve Lucra backbeat. So if you are familiar with Irish traditional music styles in the different regions throughout Ireland, you'll know that Sleeve Lucra is very well known for its polkas and slides, and if you didn't, now you know. Um, so those two tune types are very prominent in that area. Of course they do play reels and jigs as well, but for the most part, um, when you think Sleeve Lucra, you're thinking polkas and slides in your mind. It's just a characteristic of the area. Sleeve Lucra is located in uh, kind of where uh, counties Cork, Kerry, and Limerick all interconnect, um, where they're all meeting up, so that border area there up in the mountains. Uh, sleeve means mountains, and then Lucra kind of roughly translates to rushes, so the rushy mountains. If you ever go to that section of the world, you'll know why it's called that. And it's just this wonderful area where they um, really do have their own characteristic style for these tune types for polkas and slides. I spent a lot of time in Cork City. I spent about a year there doing uh, my master's degree, so I got to get a little bit of influence of the Sleeve Lucra style. I wasn't directly in the heart of it. Um, the city's a little bit southeast of the area, but I did definitely get some influence, and I definitely heard a lot of the, the styles uh, with the polkas especially, and that kind of translated into my playing. So I'm coming to this from a classical perspective, and um, I added on fiddle later on, and I've since, you know, completely converted to fiddle. So I thought I would explain to you, especially if you're coming from a classical background, just how to achieve that characteristic sleeve lucra polka backbeat. So I'm going to walk you through it. So if you have your fiddle, you might want to get that out and play along. And essentially the bow stroke that we're looking for here is one that puts a little bit more emphasis on the second half of the stroke. So if we just divide our stroke up into two, it's going to put a little bit more emphasis on the back end. So go ahead and just do a bow stroke where you stop the bow in the middle. Just like that. So play a down, down, up, up pattern. you've done that a few times, then you can go through and connect it a little bit. But when you get to that point where you're getting to the second half, I want you to pull a little bit faster and put a little bit more weight into the bow. And now we're just going to speed it up a little bit and we're actually going to, we're going to keep that feeling of that, you know, that more weight and more speed, but we're going to lighten up with what uh, the amount of pressure we're actually putting on the string. So. so you can hear I'm not playing. You could do that if you wanted, but I think that it's a little bit more characteristic to be a little lighter touch there. into perspective into an actual tune. Let's take John Walsh's polka and uh, I'm going to play through it for you and then I'll kind of uh, show you what it is I'm doing to achieve that little backbeat. <laughs>
pulse underneath as I'm playing, um, and that's just really what I'm listening for, is can I make my phrasing fit within that stroke? <laughs> for a little while if you want just to kind of recheck in with yourself and make sure that you're getting that um, getting the rhythm that you want so kind of you know when you're practicing on your own not when you're in a session trying to keep up with the notes here but when you're practicing on your own you can stop and uh, just hang on a note for a while and just kind of feel that da 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 that kind of back pull um, with the beat a little bit. If you need to emphasize it more like you can, you don't have to keep it all light just to start off with, but as long as you're internalizing that feel and you're making the phrasing fit within that, uh, I think that's going to be very helpful for you. So essentially what's going on here is um, I, I, I am trying to just fit it all within the phrase. And this is just one way of many that you could play this tune. You could play it. Um, lots of different ways to play it and lots of different ways that you'll hear it in cork. So not necessarily in that uh, sleeve looper style, but that's just um, a polka style that I hear. It's one that if I'm thinking about like, can you sleeve looper up the tune a little bit? Like I want to just fall back into that. Like you're almost, you can even move along with the music. Just like that, you can, uh, you can really get into it. I just, um, I have, you know, the sessions over there, like at the Blarney Castle Hotel, I've just got um, this movement, this feel, sound internalized. So I would highly recommend looking up different cork fiddlers. You can always ask me in the comments for recommendations if you like. Um, I'm happy to recommend some to you. And I would just really immerse yourself in that sound and then emulate it by doing that pull and um, trying to fit your phrasing within that uh, section there. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like more tutorials like this, please remember to hit that subscribe button, uh, like this video, follow along with what I'm doing. You can hit the bell notification to get, uh, um, or the bell icon to get a notification every time that I post a new video. So hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.